Well, residents from various parts of Limpopo have been faced with a lack of basic service delivery, such as water shortages and road maintenance and the poor road maintenance. The number of municipalities have also been placed under administration due to poor performance and mismanagement of funds. Today, they will be eagerly waiting to hear what Premier Stan Matabata has to say with regards to these pressing issues uh, during his State of the Province address. I want to bring in now Mike Moringa, who's uh, covering this story for us. Mike, a very good morning to you. So what's the expectation? What's the word on the ground with regards to what people want to hear from the Premier today? Good morning, Blaine, and good morning to our viewers. You are indeed correct coming to you live from the Jetpotters Hall in Pulukwani. You mentioned the issue of um, water challenges, roads infrastructure. People are, wait, are waiting in anticipation, and also the issue of unemployment is a funny issue for, for government, not only at the national level, but at the provincial level as well. Let me quickly bring in now the provincial spokesperson, Ken Matiba, to talk to us about the issues that the Premier is likely to um, touch on. Uh, Mr. Matiba, let's quickly talk about about the state of the province address. How ready are we and why is it held here at Jack Potters? We're very ready as a province, as a provincial government. We're holding the state of the province here at Jack Potters Hall. It's a resolution of the legislature that at most time you will know that last year we held it at the Libuaho precinct of the legislature. Now, after looking at the logistics and the distance from town to legislature, which is 50 kilometers, and the people that they've invited, accessibility for people with disability, they decided that this year, let's hold it in here. It may happen that next year we go back to the legislature. Let's quickly talk about issues of service delivery. We understand that we still have a lot of villages in the province that are without water. Nandoni to Giani, uh, bulk supply is another example. The road infrastructure. Is, is the Premier likely to touch on that? Most definitely. The Premier is going to touch mostly on road infrastructure, water, jobs, and other many things that has uh, flooded the provincial government of the province. You will know that the recent statistics have shown us not to be doing very good. In terms of rain, you will know that most of the four districts except Bembe haven't had rain in the past few months, I think since November last year. Now those are some of the things the Premier will touch in terms of how the province together with the National Department of Water and Sanitation are going to deal with these issues. In terms of job creation, obviously uh, with the recent uh, budget speech yesterday, the, the province or the Premier is going to talk about how the province is going to harness this issue of job creation, which, of course, as a province, we derive our job opportunities in agriculture and mining and service. Government is the largest employer in the province. Now, with the recent decisions of cutting down on, on civil servants, on the staff, how we're going to do it, he's going to zoom in on that, and the province is going to hear of the plans of the province. Education is another thorny issue in the province. We know uh, metric results, Limpopo came last. We still have a lot of dilapidated schools. Uh, scholar transport is a challenge. Is, is, he, is he going to talk to that also? Most definitely. The Premier cannot talk to the province and skip the issues of education, infrastructure, sanitation. We've had many pit latrines in the province and I think the whole country was talking about it. So he will zoom in on that and touch on it. And I think the, the resolutions or, or uh, solutions that it will come with will assist the province in understanding what the province is going to do. And lastly, Mr. Matiba, let's talk about time frames because year in, year out, we hear the president, ministers and premiers to, uh, setting targets and there are no time frames. Uh, where time frames are set, they are not met. Uh, are you certain that whatever the premier is going to speak about, there will be deadlines that will be met? Uh, I think there's a, a challenge in understanding how the state of the nation and state of the province is. The premier set the tones. In the next few weeks, MECs will come with tangible time frames and how and when these things are going to be done. But I think this time around, the Premier also sets targets and he says next week, 
tomorrow this month and meaning tomorrow next month so he will set targets but most of the time frames will be dealt with when MECs uh, delivers their budget speeches they will say tomorrow yesterday we did one two three four next week if there's a road this rail road will be dealt with in this manner and this is how much it will cost that is the uh, spokesperson for Limpopo province government, Kenny Matiba, indicating that surely there will be uh, um, yeah, matching orders from the Premier and MECs will be expected to at least see to it that people who are on the ground who are expected to implement are implementing as expected. We might get um, uh, the political analyst later on, Elvis Masuka, to talk to us about the targets that were set previously and also to uh, give us an indication if ever they were met or not. But for now, it's back to you in the studio. Yeah, Mike, lots of issues to discuss. We know that nationally, youth unemployment sitting at about 8.2 uh, million, uh, and this is the age between 15 and 34, that they're, they're, they're not in education, employment, or training. So a big national issue, but a big provincial issue as well. It's similar to the Northern Cape. It's where we go next. Desiree?